pasta! <laughs> Why are you Alfredo some pasta? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the Cheesy Desert Cooking Vlog. Today we're making the best chicken Alfredo you've ever had. And if it's not the best you've ever had, then Olive Garden will give you your money back. Here we have three chicken breasts that were harvested from a single chicken. I know, how's that even possible? Well, did you see Total Recall? You wanna have some fun? We're gonna flatten these chicken breasts. This will help them cook faster and more evenly. So lay over some stupid plastic wrap to keep things from splatting around and smush them with a meat hammer. <laughs> Next, season the chicken with some caldo con saldo de polo. That's Italian for chicken and stuff. Beep, season each side, then massage it in. Then give it some pepper. Normally I would grill outside, but I got this new pan and it's supposed to be good for grilling indoors. And it's also a xylophone. <laughs> Lay your chickadee down and cook both sides until golden brown. This should just take a minute or two depending on how thin you smush your chicken boobs. Okay, flip. You're probably wondering where this smaller breast came from. Well, I also cooked mama's baby chick. Cook all your chicken until it's... Uh-oh. I knew this was gonna happen. This is why I cook outside. It's all smoky now and it ruins everything. Got you. Our chicken is done. Now we have to prep our vegetable. I'm keeping it simple with some onions, mushrooms, and garlic. To cut these up, we're gonna use... Gravity is working against me. The mushrooms are already pre-sliced and damn it, I forgot to lay a cutting board down. Now's a good time to start cooking your fettuccine. I'm using the coco number six because number five is too hard and number seven is weak as fuck. Boil it for 10 minutes or until al dente. Next, we need to shred our cheeses. I have a parmesan the reggiano and a fontina. You'll need a cup of each. Now to shred this, you just need to... So did you, did you get it? Like shredding a guitar you know my balcony is high enough there's a good chance i could still die if i jump head first ah cutting board in a hot pot add some olive pee pee start with your mushrooms by cooking them down add a couple pinches of salt to help draw the water out next add your onions and garlic and cook until translucent throw in a whole stick of butter now we need to add just a tiny bit of white wine like maybe a splash or two at most and uh oh oh, oh no i dropped it ow oh. Let me get it. It's oh, 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 it's so slippery. Ah, I'm ruining everything. Ah, it's so sad. Ah, it's cold. Oopsie, it's too late now. Deglaze the pan and reduce the wine by half. Side tip add the chicken juices into the pot. Next, you add heavy cream, not the light stuff. That stick to your love handles, wake up with the heartache stuff. Add in your parmesan and fontina cheeses and mix well. Season with salt, truffle salt if you have it, and pepper. Then my secret ingredient, Meg's Nuts. Just a dash. Mix it together and add your chicken and your cooked pasta. You hear that? You know what that sounds like. Sounds like a hearty pasta, you pervert. And there you have it, a rich and creamy chicken Alfredo. Guys, this dish really is one of the best things I've made on this vlog. There's nothing like a hot, heavy pasta on a warm summer day, am I right? The one thing this needs is a little color. So I guess I'll add some stupid parsley. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you look at this, uh, especially sharing these videos because that helps the small guys a lot. Follow me everywhere at Cheesy Desert Cooking. One little bit of advice. If someone has lactose issues, you probably shouldn't serve them this dish. Babe, how you doing? I think I'm bleeding. Lips bigger than Jack and that sagging. It's brother backwards, I'ma leave it at that. Daddy got nothing to Expose those cats who pose as heroes, take advantage of blacks. Your government's gags to 